fantastic. Uh, 1975, I'm giving away my age here. Uh, a horse called t Frere, which uh, in, uh, is French's little brother, uh, belonged to uh, J.D. Angel trained horse. Uh, and I was just a little young punk kid, and uh, I rode it the first time and got in 100 miles of trouble. <laughs> uh, this was at the Old Evangeline Downs. So uh, after that race, I went, hurry, went back to the barn and begged him to let me ride the horse back. And about two weeks later, he ran the horse back, and uh, I was lucky enough to ride him, and uh, he won. So that's how I got my first winner. Wow, so what did it feel like when you hit the finish line? Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, I was happy. Uh, you know, because that's what I always wanted to do, and uh, to be able to, to win a race uh, was like, you know, that was that was the thing, man. I mean, uh, winning was everything. I mean, it still is, yeah. but I mean, when you're first starting, you just want to get that first one out mm -hmm. of the way, you know. Uh, and I did, and it was a very exciting moment, and uh, then I paid the price when I got back in the jock room. Now tell me all about that. How'd the initiation <laughs> go? Um, the initiation, you know, it's not uh, as bad as it is uh, today. Today, they, uh, you know, they've gotten more creative. Uh, it wasn't bad, you know, uh, to get the, the eggs and the powder and uh, the Vaseline and stuff. <laughs> and, but today, they like to bring out the clippers and, oh. you know, cut things and yeah. stuff. So, yeah, it's a little more dangerous today. Oh, I don't want to go through that. Good thing they don't have that for announcers. Boy, ain't that the truth. Well, it's a little cold out here. I'll let you inside. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm here with Dusty Shepard. Dusty, you remember your first win? Yes, sir. It was in 2008 on a horse called uh, Rockin' My Baby for Jack Palmer, who happened to be my ballot at the time. Really? So what track at, was that at? It was at Lone Star Park. So were you favored to win or were you a long shot? No, I think she was like third or fourth choice. I'd rode her a few times and run second and third and then she jumped up and happened to win that day. What kind of race was it? Uh, just a cheap claiming race, but it was kind of a... My brother rode that race and my dad happened to be there. I didn't get to ride very many races with him, so he was there that day. And, Got to join in on the little initiation party. Well, I bet that was fun, huh? Oh yeah, it was fun. He didn't help none though. Really? No, well, he didn't help me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back to the race. What did it feel like when you hit the finish line and in the winter circle? Oh, it's a feeling, you know, you can't really explain it. Your first win, you grow up. I grew up in a racehorse family, so I always knew what I wanted to do. And when I finally got to achieve that first win and get it out of the way, it was it was special. How long had you been riding before you won? I rode off and on. You know, I, st I rode a couple races at Remington there just to ride a few. And, and I took the winter off and broke some babies and, and galloped all winter and then I started riding a few there at Lone Star and I rode for probably, really rode probably about 20 or 30 maybe before that first one came. How was the initiation? What can you tell me on camera? Uh, well they threw me, Lone Star Park's got the big water fountain so my brother of course he grabbed me and launched me in there and then <laughs> usually they always like the luck of the young riders that say you can't get them and want to want to fight them also. I just took the fun out of it for them, went and laid down in the room and they really didn't get to give me that bad. <laughs> Were you there when your brother uh, had his first win? No I wasn't. I mean I was little but I really don't remember it a whole lot. How much older is he than you? He is about six years older. Six years old, and he's still riding. Is it back east? Yeah, well, he took a little time off. He went back to uh, El Paso last week, and he actually won the stake about his third race back, so wow. it worked out good for him. Nice. Well, congratulations. Good luck in 2017. Thanks for the memories. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, Ronald Ardwan, your first career win. Where'd it come? Delta Down, 1973. 73? What was the name of the horse? Miss Complefitch, Lee Young, the trainer. What kind of trip did you get? Well, yeah, the winning trip, uh, <laughs> I picked up the mount, it was part of an entry, and picked the horse up, and uh, got lucky it broke a maiden. So how did it feel when you hit the finish line? Oh, wonderful, like every other winner, uh, with uh, 5,233 <laughs> after that, just the thrill of victory. Heck of a career. So what, how did they treat you? What was your initiation like? Oh, a little baby powder, ice water, you know, about anything to age, anything to get their hands on in the jog. But it was worth it, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. Well, fantastic. Uh, have a good New Year. Thank you. You too. Okay, Michael Wright, talking about your first win. Where was it? It was at Evans and Downs back in July of 2015. And what was the name of the horse? The name of the horse was Tough Sailing for trainer Tommy Boutet. And were you expected to win or were you a long shot? No, I actually picked up the horse earlier that week because the original rider didn't want to ride the horse. So I ended up picking him up and we went wide to wide. So what did you feel like when you hit the finish line? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, it's a rush that can't be described. So in the winter circle, you're just on cloud nine, right? Yes, sir. So after all that, how did the initiation go? I made it about 20 feet out the winter circle until I get hit with my first water bucket. I mean, it was fun. They shaved my head. They shaved, you know, private areas. <laughs> <laughs>
got me with the hot sauce a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's all fun. Yeah. Did, so. did you have to ride the rest of the day? No, sir. It was the last race of the night. Oh, you got lucky. There probably weren't that many guys there, huh? Yes, sir. Well, good. So you were, it was all worth it, wasn't it? Oh, yes, sir. How long had you been riding before you won? About four months, I believe. Really? So that really was special, wasn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Okay, Steve Bork, uh, where was your first win and when did it happen? Uh, it was on Raw Avery, 1979 at Vanderland Downs. And what, who was the trainer? Terry Romero. So what do you remember about the ride? Were you expected to win? Yeah, we thought we had a good shot and uh, she was kind of heavy head fit. You had to hold her head up a lot. So you had to do a lot of work to get her to the to winner's circle, huh? No, she was a good horse. Yeah, and so what was it like to win that first race? How old were you? I was uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Wow. So what did it feel like? It was great. So how about the initiation? Uh, they, they painted me and, and uh, threw some water on me. That's it? Yeah, they got me good, don't worry. <laughs> now I'm sure you've done that to a few guys throughout the years, right? Oh yeah, we get them all. Yeah, well, good luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you. I actually was 18, 17, 18 years old, and I went to Lakeview, Oregon on a weekend for a friend of mine to ride some mules on a fair meet. My first career win was on a, on a mule. So what was that like, a mule? Well, it, it, it was pretty normal for me. I grew up, you know, doing trail rides in the Grand Canyon all my life, so that's all I was kind of accustomed. That's why they called me to go up there because that's all I did. Pretty much my whole life. A little bit slower in thoroughbreds, huh? A little bit slower. Yes. <laughs> Bigger ears. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get initiated, even though it was a mule? Oh yeah, they 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 uh, they got me pretty good. So what'd you get? What kind of stuff? Yeah, what do you can talk about? <laughs> Just kind of the regular shoe polish treatment. A good ice bucket over the head. Enough to remember a good day, huh? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's oh, something you don't forget. Let me catch this car. Thank you.